Um, I describe myself as a life management consultant, which basically means um, I'm there to support people in trying to find effective and efficient ways of managing their life. You know, a lot of people actually start to look at different sections of their lives and how can I manage my business or how do I manage my relationships or how do I manage a variety of things, my children for example. Um, what I actually start to look at is enabling and empowering people just to take full control of how they manage their lives. The results that we've, we've achieved are phenomenal. Um, and not too long ago, we actually uh, reached an amazing level of 100% success rate with the top 2% of offenders. And that is, you know, everybody that was going through that particular group uh, were all free from drugs, they got into meaningful um, uh, training or education, they were all living independent lifestyles, and actually been a, a valued member of the community. Uh, the results that we also had working with people getting into work, for example, um, you know, we, we reached a target of 87.5% with young parents that, that were sort of unable to get back into education or work or training. And we're actually going through the process, you know, 87.5% 87 of them were successful in doing that. From a, an individual one-to-one -one basis, uh, some of the results are phenomenal. Uh, even with, with business people that are very successful, uh, achieving high levels of success in their fields of work, actually as an individual, uh, for a lot of them, they actually find that uh, they're not achieving that, that inner peace, that inner bit for them that is really satisfying their quench for life and they come through the program and it's an incredible difference that it makes to their lives when they go back and actually start to commit and not too much to work uh, but actually can make a full commitment to the way that they run their whole life. The way that we actually support um, businesses uh, comes in a variety of, of um, descriptions. We offer one-to-ones for uh, management and company directors right the way through to full breakthrough days for the whole company. It's beginning to recognise that there is a difference um, in, in the way that we are looking at managing our businesses now uh, in, the, in the light of the economic uh, climate that we're in. A real success story is when we worked when a local authority's housing stock was privatised and when the, the new company came in to, uh, to sort of manage that uh, contract for the next 10 years. Taking the staff team, the whole staff team, right the way through from apprentices to, to sort of uh, directorship level, uh, of that culture change was an absolutely phenomenal impact. Uh, we actually allowed people to go from the, 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 the mindset of working for a local authority through to working for a profit-making organisation as, as slick, slick as we could possibly be. The results were phenomenal. You know, we actually set up um, a group of individuals from every spectrum and every role of the organisation so they could start to discuss the way forward, not just from a business point of view, from a profit-making point of view, but actually from a staff team point of view too. I think the things that set me up to be who I am today um, are a variety of things. I, I distinctly remember as, as a young child um, closing my eyes and putting my head on the pillar and being able to understand and recognise the difference between my thoughts and feelings that I had in my head when I was closing my eyes to that of when I was outside um, playing with, with my friends. And it was always that question, why, why am I like I am here? And why am I not like I am here outside? Um, and that was it's always stayed with me. Um, there's a variety of, of uh, things that occurred uh, at a young age. Um, at the age of 14, I was abused, um, which had a huge impact, a huge impact. It was something that I couldn't discuss with anybody. Uh, it was something that um, it, it, it left me feeling that like I'd lost control. Um, later on that same year, I had my first motorbike accident, um, which, I to ha which I ended up having um, plastic reconstructive surgery on my face, uh, which ended up two motorbike accidents later, lying in a hospital bed, 
been explained to me that there was a, a huge possibility that I would never walk ever again. I think these situations that we go through um, had a huge impact because at the point of where I'm, I'm lying there, being told that, um, you know, that it's looking like you're not going to walk again, that very question of why do we do what we do just rolled around my head for, for quite a long time. I spent about two and a half years in a wheelchair and in 1984 I had spinal surgery and um, I've walked ever since. Um, these are the impacts that really sort of have pushed me towards being the person I am today. I think what makes us tick is, is so varied. It is so different. As, as individuals, we're all unique. What, may, what motivates us to get out of bed and throw the duvet back um, and, and sort of, of get that zest for life for one person will be completely different for another person. Um, what it allows me to understand is about the actual thought process of actually do I actually throw the duvet back or actually do I put it over my head and go back to sleep. The process that Beyond the Mass brings, you know, is not to tell people what to think or what to say or what to do. It's there to empower people to actually find for themselves what makes me tick. And it's only at that point where you make that full commitment about yourself, about what you enjoy doing, is when you actually start to find the difference in your life. My passions and dreams for the future, you know, are quite diverse. Um, from an individual's point of view, uh, I have a passion for sharing the whole process of Beyond the Mask to as many people as we possibly can. Um, I think that the, the impact it has uh, when people actually go through this process is, is quite magical. Uh, another passion is to actually open a retreat where people can really take time out of their busy lives, you know, uh, to come and start to look and reflect back over what they've been doing and to spend some time projecting forward in regards to what it is that they want to do. Um, in regards to, to my dreams for me, you know, there, are, there are lots of projects uh, that we want to, there are lots of projects that we are supporting at the moment that are really sort of getting young people to start to take that stance of saying, this is what I want to do. What, what I do for individuals vary from individual to individual. But it's certainly the fact that in this real fast life that we live with technology and communication as fast as it is, um, individuals find it really hard. We all find it hard to take time out just for ourselves, just to look at what we've done to project forward of what it is that we want to do. And the process on a one-to-one -one basis actually enables people to start to explore areas of their dreams and desires that they generally don't do. You know, because we're all sort of uh, head down and actually getting on and doing what we're doing, committing to the things that we've actually said we do want to do. As an individual, um, it's, it's really important that we take time out to really start to look at managing our lives more effectively and efficiently. You know, we live in a society where it's so fast, it is so hard to really take that time out as an individual to really start to think of how you manage your life. What the Beyond the Mask one-to-one -one process does for people is it actually gives them the opportunity to reflect on what they've been doing and looking at the results that they've been achieving, whilst at the same time projecting forward on the new things that they want to do and start to actually put in new, new targets and new goals in place. It's very rare that we actually find time in our busy lives to even think about anything other than what it is that we're doing. The one-to-one -one process for individuals is that time where you're not told what to think, you're not told what to say, and you're not told what to do, but you're given that environment in a confidential, uh, in a confidential setting that allows you to really start to look at asking that question, what is it that you really want to achieve with your life? What is it that you really want to do? What are those goals and those big things that you really want to go for that you've maybe never discussed before?
sometimes in business it's it's quite overwhelming about when we get ourselves into situations or businesses get into situations where they're uncertain about what it is that they need to do next and in today's society with the you know the sort of the financial climate that we're in it's about making sure that the decisions that we make are really informed decisions from a business point of view we offer lots of support mechanisms from going in and enabling people just to take stock of exactly where it is that they are, exactly what it is that they've achieved and what it is that they want to achieve in the future whilst being able to survive in the present uh, economic climate that we're in. Uh, that can vary from one-to-ones with, with management teams and um, company directors right the way through again to, to the breakthrough days of really inspiring individuals to recognise that there is always, always, always a way forward. It's about being able to not panic, it's about being able to sort of take time out from that real busy schedule of, of trying to survive to be looking at what are the informed decisions that we need to take to move this forward uh, with, with, with solid footsteps. Ups. I'm very optimistic about society today. You know, we are moving into an arena where people are really beginning to see the benefits of taking time out for themselves, being able to look about what it is that they want to do. And we're finding more and more people are actually, you know, really engaging in things like uh, support mechanisms, coaching, uh, advice taking, and recognizing that when they do take that time out to actually look about what it is they want to do and to discuss. Uh, the things they, they no longer see as, as somebody going off for support that can't cope. This is not about not coping. You know, Beyond the Mask is about enabling people to manage their lives effectively and efficiently. It's not just about getting out of a crisis. You know, for most people that are successful, uh, it's actually remaining successful is, is the hard bit. And it's about enjoying the success. It's not about being uh, committed to you know, 20 hours a day of work in a business. I'm very optimistic that we're actually starting to see uh, people sharing with each other. People are beginning to care. One of the big things that we see when people go through Beyond the Mask, it just doesn't have an impact on the way that they manage their lives but it has an impact on the way that they also want to share the goodness that they feel, the benefits that they feel with other people around in their lives too. So we're beginning to see a, a real change in the way the society works. You know, we're now beginning to see people working together. We're seeing communities as a whole beginning to pull together and recognise that working on your own is virtually impossible in, in today's society and it is great to be able to share with a number of people whether it's a small group or a large group of, of a, um, uh, a mindset or a dream or a desire that everybody can actually work together on. To find out uh, what more things that we can offer and to really get an understanding of all of the, the, the support mechanisms that, we, that are on offer to you is to go to the website. Uh, on the website you'll find a variety of, of uh, articles and information that's going to, to show you what can be done, what is being done. You pick up the telephone. You know, if you pick up the telephone and give me a call, I'll talk to you directly about the kind of benefits that you as an individual, as an organisation or as a business can actually get from actually going through Beyond the Mask. You can follow us on Facebook, on LinkedIn, um, generally just actually get in touch and we will do what we can.